wanted to make one thing uh, very clear about this. In this video you're going to be watching, I'm using a self-rescue technique that involves a descending eight, um, a rescue eight actually, that has the years. And the method is cumbersome. I have not seen it used any place. It seems to work for me, but I'm definitely not going to advocate that anybody use it. Uh, it was more or less just out of my own interest. I recently got a hitchhiker, and this is going to be what I'm going to be using from now on in similar situations. So I'll have just one device that will be on my uh, climbing line. After I put up the video, Black Day for the Black Cherry, viewer All Things Real made a bunch of helpful comments. And one of them was that uh, I needed to make sure I could do a self-rescue. I had to practice it. So on my last climb, I did practice it. Um, my attempt to use the uh, Descending 8 in, in itself was successful. But what was problematic for me was the other aspects of doing the uh, uh, descent. And there were two issues in particular that were problematic. One, um, getting the climbing line or the safety line and my lanyard tangled. And the other was uh, how difficult it can be to actually release your lanyard. I mean, if you're climbing with two hands, that's a pretty easy thing to do. But if you're incapacitated and you only have the use of one hand, trying to do that with one hand can be very difficult. The first problem I encountered turned out to be much more significant than I had anticipated. And that was in preparing to do my theoretical cut, I had overlapped my um, lanyard with my safety line. And when I tried to do my um, emergency escape. I went down and then went to release the lanyard. And now my lanyard is being held by my safety line. And even though I try to rappel down, my lanyard is trapped. So obviously the uh, very important thing to do is make sure that your safety line is not overlapping your lanyard. You have to have some gap between them. Uh, I'm going to say six inches would be important. Because you can see in this case I'm going to end up falling sideways because I'm actually trapped by my lanyard. I'd have to undo both sides and in an emergency escape situation that just doesn't cut it. You never know when you're going to need to do an emergency uh, self-rescue. So the important lesson is you must always keep these two separated. Your climbing line, your safety line should always be above where your lanyard is. Never overlap them like that because that's a big big problem. The second problem I encountered had to do with that simple phrase, dropping your lanyard. Uh, that turned out to be much more of an issue than I was expecting. I mean, it would be one thing if you had both hands to do it, then it's fairly simple. But what I found is if you've got uh, just one hand to use, it uh, becomes much more difficult. Okay, I don't have my safety rope on. We're just, for the demo, going to use the uh, um, repel down. So, we'll get up just a little bit. Okay. Um, Depending on how you've chosen to extend your lanyard for making your cuts, you may have a fairly significant amount of 
distance between you and the tree. And if you have one hand that's damaged, you can use one hand to pull in, but it's difficult to do the release. Um, I have trouble reaching over to this other side, and even if I did, I can't use that hand to pull me in. So it became an issue. How do you uh, release the lanyard? Because you've, you've got to get down fast, you have to be able to release it. So first thing is we'll engage this to set it so we can get down. got three wraps on it. Now what I need to do is get this one ready to release. So uh, there we go. And the only thing I can do is either use my whole arm to pull in like that or I can attempt to get in that way. In either case it's very difficult. So one thing I can do is transfer the lateral force from the lanyard to my safety line. So I can go down a bit and now I'm held by that and it becomes much easier Uh, let's go a little bit further. There we go. So now you see I'm held just by that. And you can see it is definitely supporting me. So now to get down, I can undo until the point where I'm really using what's just about a munter hitch to get down. So getting out of the lanyard turned out to be a significant issue for me.